Hey y'all, here's a little repair job we're working on today. Concrete wall on this project here. It does not look like it had a sufficient footing and the wall has actually started to rotate over a little bit. The wall actually has cracks in it from the vines. The vines started growing into the little cracks and forced the wall apart a little bit more. I've uh, opened the cracks up some, put some epoxy in there on both sides, and then tried to pull the wall back on top of the epoxy to get a good bond. What we're gonna do is install a chain. We dug a hole underneath of it. We're gonna install a chain underneath of the, uh, the wall and try to elevate the wall back up to the proper level location with the excavator we have on the other side. I built a little mound up on the outside of this wall. It was about a seven foot ex exposed wall to get the excavator a little higher so I get a little bit more lifting capacity. And here's the hole that we've got dug on this side of the wall. We're gonna run a chain through and connect to the uh, track hoe to try to get it elevated. A little, with my hand. I bet to get underneath there. Had yeah. to dig a little tunnel underneath there to get that chain through. A lot of roots from these vines and all that too. You can see right here where the uh, vines have actually started growing into the wall right there and it's caused the wall to crack. It separated the uh, wall from itself. I ran some epoxy in those you areas. See how the wall has a slight dip to the uh, right hand side where it's actually sunk and then over on this side you can see where the wall has rolled over just a little bit. Not standing up level or plumb. And here's the other crack where the vines have started growing into the crack too. And I've got epoxy and all that and all that right now. Alright, we got the chain connected underneath the footing, wrapped around the bottom of the footing, connect connected up here to the excavator. We're gonna try to lift it up. And then we're gonna pour a new footing underneath this thing and get it straightened back up. But first, we're gonna grab another large ratchet strap out of the back of the truck, get that wrapped around here, replacing a little small ratchet strap, just in case this wall wants to lean over because I won't be able to control it with the bucket. So we'll tie it back to a tree or a bush that's on the back side of it, just trying to keep the uh, wall upright. All right, we're gonna put this other larger ratchet strap on there to try to secure this wall just a little bit, keep it from falling over on us. Got a little bit more force with this bigger one than a small one. Yeah, it's, it's standing up, Ashton. Keep on cranking. Are you about out? Okay. Go and get that that one filled up all the way. Then we get the other one out. We'll put the other one on there. Then we'll loosen this one up. Kind of go back and forth between the two ratchet straps. You're back, you're back on it. Back on it. Yeah, right there. <laughs> that leveled it up. Look at that gate close. Sure did. Alright. Look pretty good. A little more. It could go a little more. Okay. It looks pretty good. Got the uh, wall leveled up, plumbed up, and the gate was installed with the wall being crooked originally, as you can tell. So I'm going to see what I can do to try to make this gate work. But uh, it was actually put on and built for a crooked wall. Okay, I've got about a two by two footer dug about six to eight inches below the wall right now. I'm going to pour that full of concrete. It extends out about a foot and a half, two foot past the wall for additional support. And I'll put some steel inside there also. Got some temporary supports underneath there just to hold it up in case the hydraulics relax while we're getting all the concrete mixed up. All right, we've got the wall leveled up. We've got right at 800 pounds of concrete installed as a new footer around the base of this wall. Got some um, supports underneath of it to temporarily support it while it's uh, the concrete's being dried. Everything's nice and level. We just gotta get the, the gate readjusted because it looks like this gate was installed on this wall when it was leaning. So the gate is not functioning or closing properly now. 
So we'll have to reset the hinges on the skate to uh, make it realign. You can see that it's not lined up at all. And it wasn't installed properly, where it was installed on the leaning concrete wall. You can see about an inch and a half, two inch gap at the top on the hinge side and all the way down to probably a half inch gap at the bottom. So we'll try to readjust these hinges to get this uh, gate to work properly. This concrete footer here actually goes underneath the existing footing that was there. About 160 pounds of concrete right there. Got this one here buried up. Looking good now. A little additional dirt in there to level things up. Just took the hinges off to get adjusted. You can see this thing has been adjusted many times. There's several sets of holes in there where they've tried to align, realign this gate. Hey y'all, we got this little project knocked out. Got the gate leveled up, stabilized. Also adjusted the hinges on this thing. Got the gate working properly. Actually opens and closes nice and easy. And if y'all would, like and share and subscribe to this channel. See all the other little projects we're doing.